Hello friends, uh, today we will be discussing on bronchiolitis. Now bronchiolitis is basically a bronchioles and itis means inflammation. So it is inflammation of the bronchioles. Bronchioles are the very small airways. So usually this is a disease of very young children. Especially the infants are very vulnerable, infants that is less than 12 months of age. It can also affect uh, the neonates also, sometimes, occasionally, when it can be quite severe. Uh, the usual presentation is uh, with a running nose. It starts off with a running nose and then you see the child coughing a little. You can hear some audible sounds like a wheezing sound. and then sometimes it can progress to a respiratory distress. So how do you understand whether the patient is having, whether the baby is having a respiratory distress? So you can see that the baby is uh, breathing rapidly, so there's fast breathing. And usually what we call fast breathing is when the respiratory rate is 60 or more in the first two months of life, then it is 50 or more. And then finally, a little older children, you can have 40 or more respiratory rate. So that is what you call a fast breathing. Or you can have some chest in drawing. You can see that the chest is going up like this. So that is chest in drawing. And then sometimes the baby has difficulty in feeding, sucking. The baby may be a little listless. So if this happens, these are danger signs. So if you see a baby who is having a little wheezing, a cough, uh, who's, who's also having a little running nose, the baby is coughing, the baby is now progressing to a fast breathing, just in drawing, the baby is listless, the baby is unable to feed. So that is the time when you should consult your doctor and maybe this baby will require a hospitalization. Now what is the time? Now bronchiolitis is usually seasonal quite seasonal and this is the time in fact now this onset of winter this end of october beginning of november so this is the time that usually this happens it is a viral thing most of the times caused predominantly by the respiratory syncytial virus but other viruses like the common cold virus the rhino virus the flu virus they also can cause to uh, can lead to bronchiolitis uh, regarding the management issues, majority of the times it's just a supportive treatment because antivirals have very limited role. So majority of the times it is supportive. Uh, sometimes you need to nebulize your baby. Occasionally if the baby is progressing rapidly to respiratory distress, then you need to hospitalize and treat the baby accordingly. So that is the concern of the doctors possibly. and. Man and prevention so this is one thing it usually starts off with a cold in a family member so a, a dog who is having a cold it gives the he or she gives the virus to the baby and the baby lands with a bronchiolitis and the respiratory distress so if you have a cold be careful with your babies uh, try to avoid sneezing and uh, touching the babies uh, so maintain a uh, maybe uh, if you are uh, because sometimes it spreads by respiratory spread by the fomites fomites means if you are blowing your nose in a handkerchief so the baby should be kept away from it so uh, that is one of the things and if someone has it so uh, the baby should uh, be restricted baby should be preferably kept at home do not allow the baby to mix with other babies because the virus can spread to other babies also uh, majority of the times uh, it is quite it is uneventful uh, almost 90-95% of the patients can stay at home with uh, hydration and maybe just one or two medications they usually do well until and unless the baby is going to a severe respiratory distress and that is the time when you need to hospitalize so consult your doctor if you have a problem if you see that the baby is coughing, sneezing too much and definitely if the baby has the danger signs that I've already mentioned. So I think that should be more or less everything about bronchiolitis and thank you for your patient hearing.